I'm standing in front of the Aura F37 artwork uh, in Al in France, and this work is made before two years on the border. It's finished before two years, and the pictures are made in 2015 on the border between Serbia and Hungary. What is interesting about this work, and this is only the piece of the work that is showed here. At the exhibition is that uh, these pictures are made with uh, police surveillance cameras, and those cameras are usually uh, not accessible to ordinary citizens and photographers because that kind of, of equipment is uh, probably around tens of thousands of euros. So uh, by uh, working on the border, uh, I luckily had possibility to use that camera and uh, what I like of, uh, about this work is that uh, it is not documentaristic work in, in, uh, in clear sense, it's much more I would say conceptual uh, work where I basically used the surveillance, surveillance techniques and changed basically how we approached these pictures and uh, the name Aura uh, comes from uh, the heat of the body, of the temperature, which basically, especially on this picture where there is a family, you, you can see uh, that, that heating, you know, and it's somehow responsibility uh, of the Europe today. As far as we know, there are much more borders and offenses in Europe today than comparing to the Cold War. Even that here we speak on this exhibition about Russian threat, etc., I think that Bill, Europe started to build fences and the fence is not only on the border. I think that these surveillance techniques in Turkey, in Morocco, in Algeria and in, on the Mediterranean Sea are also part of the border and I'm afraid that the border is coming also, this surveillance come to the ordinary European citizens. And also I call these images uh, operational images, which is the term that Harun Faroki uh, experimental uh, movie and theorist, uh, uh, German uh, theoretician, uh, how he basically used that term for the machines that are uh, surveilling the people uh, without uh, human touch.